All right, class, please open up your book to page 71. Today we're talking about the invisible hand. Now, every economist knows that Adam Smith coined the term the invisible hand in 1776 in a book called The Wealth of Nations. The invisible hand theory explains the mechanism of the free market where the scarce resources of society are efficiently and automatically allocated. Utility maximizing individuals completely exploring their own self-interest ironically lead in their behavior to benefits for everyone. Higher profits, in turn, provide existing firms with the incentive to expand a new... Professor? Yes? Uh, I completely disagree with everything you just said. Yeah. What? For sure. What? Oh, yeah, I agree with them. Yeah. You're not right. Professor, I also disagree. Yeah, you got it all wrong. Justice and liberty. You Ivy League just can't compete. I pity thee. So tell New Jersey fans we're gonna need new jerseys, man. Cause you standing in the stands looking white when invisible hands doing nothing but hurting me, burning me. Doesn't matter if it's third degree, cause your economic policy causing nothing but poverty. Death and destruction are the only things I can see. We need wealth for society, so stop the perjury. You cheat, you steal, you lie through your pearly teeth. But today's a new day and there's a brand new lesson to teach. We're turning over Ivy League so we stomp our feet. Yo, I'm like Steve Nash, watch this sweet path. In a sympathetic fashion Government spending can stop the markets from crashing You asking, but where does the money come from? It's C plus I and G And then we're done You see, it's really not that complicated But stepping on the little guy ain't the way to make it You fake it, we take it But it's time to unionize Get ourselves organized Give the capitalists a surprise And begin the journey toward a social compromise Where the poor get more while the rich stand by We fly, get high, and soar towards the sky Where moral sentiments replace demand and supply yeah. Clearly your markets are free of justice It's like your spy curve needs some readjustments We need benevolence and sympathy in the midst These textbooks corrupting our moral sentiments We need OGs like Smith, Marx, and Lerner Heterodox economics is the real table turner Back to the real world No Cadillacs, these spontaneous order Can't buy me a Cadillac Check Ferguson, Garner, Garner, King too People can't work when they face black and blue at the end of the day. His message and beats are false and predictable. Does he even teach his students Rawls' difference principle? We 
come from Roosevelt, yo, we are the Lakers. Let's get back to class now, forget all these fakers. Thank you everyone for coming. Welcome to Theories of Justice and Economics and Philosophy at Roosevelt University. You know, most economists teach that efficiency is the first virtue of economics. But that's not true. Justice is the first virtue. And we're going to read and talk about and discover why and why that's so important. 